Hello, today we're going to learn about a large vein histology. This structure that you see here is a large vein virtual slide. And one thing that you can obviously see in this slide is that the large vein, okay, the large vein that you see here, that large vein is collapsed. Now, uh, in the muscular artery video that I did before, in that also I mentioned the neighbor of that muscular artery, a, mus a medium sized vein, that is also having a collapsed structure. Why are these veins collapsed? If you consider this as the heart, uh, this is the veins that is bringing uh, blood towards the heart and these are the arteries that are taking blood away from the heart. That is the definition of an artery and a vein. So you can know that you know that the heart is a pump and the heart pumps blood towards the arterial side. So the arterial side is a high pressure system and the venous side is a low pressure system. So uh, structurally, if you consider the histology, the wall of the vein is designed to hold more blood that is why veins are called capacitance vessels the arterial uh, structure the histology of the artery is unlike the vein it is designed to hold more pressure so it is called resistance vessels uh, or distribution vessels the veins are designed to hold more blood so it is likely to be collapsed if it is not holding that much blood so uh, that is the reason why the veins in histology will have a collapsed lumen again if we survey the wall of the vein just like how we did in the arterial uh, histology discussion this is the intima along with the media you can't clearly separate identify and it's not necessary that you need to identify the intima from the media but the intima and the media are mostly blended with each other uh, in the media you can see a little bit of smooth muscle cells that are oriented circumferentially okay they, these muscle cells are oriented circumferentially uh, some of the muscle cells you may also see in the intima that will blend with the media so together the intima and the media are blended and in my ruler it is showing some 350 microns intima and the media together but the obvious thing that you can see is the very thick adventitia on the outer side the adventitia is uh, outperforming by measurement the thickness is outperforming the media and the intima together so this is the thickest layer and so that is a characteristic of the vein and uh, as mentioned before adventitia contains all connective tissue elements but in this adventitia in the vein adventitia you can see longitudinally oriented smooth muscle bundles each of these structures that you see are longitudinally oriented smooth muscle bundles unlike the smooth muscles that you see in the media which are circumferentially oriented they are very very feeble if you look at the vein adventitia they are thick longitudinally oriented smooth muscle bundles now if i zoom on to one of these uh, smooth muscle bundle this is a longitudinally oriented smooth muscle bundle if I focus on one of these you can see a few nuclei okay you can see a few nuclei uh, but the bundle contains full uh, smooth muscle cells but you can see a few nuclei why only few nuclei when you have a lot of uh, smooth muscle cells throughout that is because of the arrangement of smooth muscles within one bundle if you take one bundle like this containing a lot of smooth muscles put that uh, if I take that bundle and orient it like this okay that will contain a lot of smooth muscle if i take one smooth muscle it will be like this it has a belly over here and two tapered ends over here if i take another smooth muscle it will have a belly over here and two uh, tapered uh, ends on both sides uh, if you take a smooth muscle like this if you take a cut through the center you will get the nucleus but if the cut is off the center you will not get the nucleus so if you take a section of the whole bundle it is likely that you will get the nuclei of a few muscle cells but many muscle cells it will be off the center so you will not see nuclei for all of them uh, so that is the reason why when we draw this uh, histology uh, diagram uh, you put nuclei for some of the cells but not all of the cells uh, one of the usual questions that is asked in Indian exams is what is the functional correlation of these longitudinally oriented smooth muscle bundles well uh, it is not exactly proven why uh, what is the function of these but anyway this is an identification feature this is seen in the large vein histology in the adventitia of the large vein but the functional correlation is speculated to be it may help in the inspiration and expiration process in the inferior vena cava especially but it is not completely proven but some authors do say that uh, that is one of the functional correlations for uh, these longitudinally oriented smooth muscle bundles so uh, one sentence summary will be a, a, a large vessel collapsed lumen telling that it is a vein the adventitia is the most thickest again telling that it is a vein and the adventitia contains very beautiful longitudinally oriented smooth muscle bundles and that is the characteristic identification feature of 
a large win. Thank you.